Hi there, it's Rodney Barnes with Essential Properties and today I want to share a little bit of information with you about what's happening in our housing market today. I share conversation with many of my clients and what I discovered is their biggest question was, Rodney, how's the market? Rodney, what's really going on? What's happening out there? And instead of me telling them, hey, the market's sizzling, we haven't cooled down, things are great, just scream by, yay, I want to be real. And if you're considering a home purchase and you're looking at a price point under 200,000, in today's market, there are 3,523 homes available. As of right now, there's 3,523 homes available. So what does that mean for you as a buyer? I'm gonna answer that in just a moment, but there's another important number I want you to hear, and that number is 2,962. 2,000. 962. That number is the number of homes that are currently under contract throughout Maricopa County. So 2962 are pending. So we have 3,500 homes available, 3,000 homes under contract. What that means for you if you're looking under 200,000 is that there is a very limited amount of inventory for your home purchase doesn't mean you won't find what you're looking for. It means that there's a limited amount and you're probably going to find yourself in a multiple offer situation. So how do we prepare for that? Okay, now it's time to put on those boxing gloves. Let's get ready. I said it before, I'm going to say it again. The first and foremost important thing that you want to consider is having your pre-approval ready. I know, I know. Well, let's suppose you don't. You find that perfect place and there's two other offers that are bidding for it as well. They have pre-approvals, you don't. There's a high chance your offer is going to go to the bottom of the pile. You don't want that. You want to be at the top and you want to show that seller how serious you are. So consider getting that pre-approval. Let's know your purchasing power. The second thing I want to share with you is the earnest deposit. Now it's become a standard of practice for the earnest deposit to be roughly a thousand dollars when you're making your purchase offer. Well, consider increasing that earnest deposit to maybe 2000 or 2500 Again, we want to show the seller how serious you are about purchasing the home. There's a third tip I want to share. Be flexible with your close date. Be flexible with your close date. The sellers are going to be in a transition as well too. They're going to be packing, moving, considering relocation and you want to let them know that you understand their situation. So be flexible. The last point I want to share with you is consider a letter with your offer. I know, consider a letter with your offer. Why is that important? The sellers have gone through great lengths to prepare their home for sale. They have a lot of pride of ownership and you want to let that seller know that you appreciate everything they've done and you want to let the seller know how well you're going to take care of the home. So four fun facts, pre-approval, earnest deposit increase, be flexible with your date and consider a letter for the seller. Just these four items alone can help you be set apart from the others to get your perfect place. As always, I'm here to help. Use me as a resource. Reach out to me at any time with any of your questions. I'm always available to help. Check me out on Facebook, Rodney Barnes AZ. Call me direct, 623-217-7548. Email me, rodney at teamrodney.com. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to help you. Thanks so much for listening. I appreciate your support and have a fantastic week. Take care.